All right. Uh, first up, we have some revisions and more. We had a lot of revisions. Products. Okay, so we revised the Lady Data Toolkit. Uh, now has a nicer temperature controllable soldering iron and a nicer soldering iron stand. Otherwise, the same, a great starter toolkit for anyone who wants to uh, get doing electronics and wants a little bit of everything. I know you can get like you know, $20 starter kits for electronics, but this actually has the good stuff, right? The good stuff, right. including a power supply circuit. Um, we've also revi been revising our USB device, uh, sorry, our GPS devices. So our old GPS module supplier stopped making the GPS module, which is unusual because I really liked it. Uh, but we found a GPS module that has the same performance and the same pinout. So it's a little bit thicker, but it now supports uh, GLONASS, which is the Russian uh, global positioning system version. So you can maybe get more reception um, around the world, not just from the US system, but also from yeah. the Russian system. And we have it in our breakout. We have the breakout, uh, the, the USB breakout. We've also got the Raspberry Pi hat, so we revised that. Um, and then we are going to do um, the Arduino Shield next. We are already did the Arduino Shield, but you're going to see every one of our Ultimate GPS products get revised. A little thicker, but and the antenna query command changed a little bit, but otherwise it's pretty much drop-in compatible. Next up. Next up, we've got, this is you requested, this is a USB-C yes. right angle cable. One end, standard USB Type-A, although it's reversible. Good for way. keeps. And this is a right angle on the other end, so you can flip it around right angle. What I like about USB-C, of course, it's you know flippable, so you only need one right angle cable. What I hated about like Micro-B is you needed right angle both directions. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see it's weird, it's, it's reversible yeah. on the other side too. All right, next up. All right, next up, this is by JP's special request. People who know JP knows he likes his keycaps. He really likes, uh, windowed keycaps. This is a windowed keycap. This is a kind of an obscure uh, type of keycap. It's opaque black, black plastic and that has a little clear uh, window. So hold on, let me let me get in close. One moment. Okay. So um, you can see this keycap, it's opaque and then the NeoPixel, so this is of course you want to use this with something that has LED underlining. The LED is down here. It shines through the body of the key, because this is like a LED compatible key, and um, out to here where you can see the light shine through and it kind of curves around. It's a kind of an elegant minimalist, it's a little like 2001 Space Odyssey, but if you like the look, um, these keys, key caps are hard to get, so I snagged a couple hundred of them. Uh, they're not inexpensive, but this is kind of the only place you can get them. They're very, very rare um, to find. So some people like the look, uh, and then of course you can uh, customize the top however you want or just keep it nice and neutral black. Okay, next up. Okay, so this is a chunky battery. So we've already stocked the 660, sorry, 6,600 milliamp hour version of this battery, but batteries have improved in like the 10 years since we stocked this 660. So this is, sorry, 6,600. So this is 10 amp hours, so it's like 40% more, or maybe like 50% more, um, but it's the same physical size. So it's it's still three 18, uh, 650 cells, but these are the high capacity version. These are the uh, three 3400s, not the 2200s. So the, the, they're, the batteries are a little bit nicer, a little bit better, so you get more capacity. You get what normally would be like four batteries worth you need. Um, you only get it, get it in a smaller package uh, from PK Cell, which I really like. Um, these are already, uh, they're, they're packed and welded and they're symmetric and they have a battery protection circuit. So if you really need a high capacity, do this. Don't DIY your own battery packs. Just get a pre-made battery pack with the capacity you need. I like this one. All right, next up, we've got the um, SHT30 enclosed sensor. It's basically an SHT30, which, uh, you know, folks here know, I love it. It's an I squared T temperature humidity sensor. It's high quality from Sincerion. Um, this one, it comes enclosed. It's not waterproof, okay? It's not even weatherproof, but it's just like protected. And uh, I, just, I just popped this off very quickly. It's got a nice mounting hole. It's got holes in it. So it's just kind of nicely enclosed. But inside you can see it's just the sensor. Uh, capacitor, pull-up resistors, and then um, a nice cable at the end. It's a very convenient wired I squared C sensor. Folks, stop using DHT sensors. Use this instead. Much better quality, much easier to use. Don't have to like, mess around. Use real I squared C's. The good stuff. 
But throw away your DHTs and use one of these instead. Next up. Next up, another request. You wanted us to carry some like cyberpunk panel mounted mousing devices. So this is a panel mount friendly or like attachable friendly um, touchpad with two buttons. And we also have a version that is a uh, trackball. So we kind of got one of each. The trackball version has like three buttons. The touchpad has two. It's just USB mouse. You plug it in and the touchpad shows up like a digitizer. The trackball shows up like a mouse. It's great for use with like a Raspberry Pi or single board computer. Or anytime you're making, a lot of people make projects with single board computers. They want a mouse, but they don't want like a literal mouse that you have to like move around because that's like an external thing. This way it's enclosed inside of, you know, your project or it's mounted on the top. It's more durable because there isn't like this cable and this mouse thing hanging off. Um, but you can give people the ability to like do a touch controller. Also, sometimes you don't have a touch screen uh, or you don't want people putting their dirty mitts on the screen. Um, these two will work great. And again, just plain USB. All right. And next up. Okay. From SparkFun, our friends SparkFun, they have uh, all sorts of cool, quick STEM QT compatible boards. Uh, somebody sent this to us and said, hey, you should stock this. I'm like, you're right. This is a great add-on fat or like mini hat which plugs onto a Raspberry Pi or a Raspberry Pi Zero, really anything with the 2x20 header. It also works like the Jetson Nano and other 2x20 header single board computers. And it gives you um, the I2C connections with STEM QT connectors on the top. So you can plug in any of SparkFun or Adafruit I2C sensors, and we make like hundreds of them right in, no wire required, uh, really easy to use with I2C, and they even give you a little button on the end. All right. And my request, if SparkFun's watching, um, we stuck a bunch of your stuff. Stuck more of ours. Asking for a friend. Okay. All right. Star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, the community, our customers, our staff, and more, is um, a, bu feet. a bunch of feet. He I can get you a human toe. Do you yeah. need a human toe tonight? Well, I got, I got yeah. these toes. I don't so need your toes. We have all these feet in different colors. Feet, 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 feet. And feet. Uh, I'm just going to show all the different colors Black. really fast. Gray. Yeah, and here's a. Next to a coin. Yeah, to see the size. Green. Blue. Circuit oh, path on purple. Red. red. And then uh, here they are. Okay, so I'm gonna show this up. So these are just like fun. They're actually designed for keyboards, but I think they can be good for any enclosure design, anything with electronics where you want really um, nice little feet on your project, especially if you're using a, a um, anodized aluminum enclosure because these are also anodized aluminum. So they come with an M4 screw, so that's how you attach them. Of course, you can also put foam tape. There's a lot of surface area and it's nice and smooth. You can put some 3M foam tape here and use that to attach it to your enclosure. So they're kind of cool, like cyberpunk, like, you know, cylindrical co conic section things going on here. And then this is a silicone or other soft rubber bumper thing. So inside here, this, whatever touches the floor or your desk is nice and soft and um, it doesn't move around easily so it won't scratch but it also won't slide and it comes in multiple colors like these greens or like i said we've got this cool purple color i like the purple but you know some people like other colors we've got the red color and we've got i couldn't really make up my mind there were so many colors and i love the look of anodized aluminum i always think it looks great black uh, silver and gray. So space gray, you know, in a kind of a silvery color. So you got all these different colors. Uh, you get two each per package because usually you'll want either two or four. And uh, I don't know, they look like eyes, multiple eyes staring at you. They do um, look like eyes. But they're great little feats. Nice feats. All right. Feats. And that is the products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.